We've often talked about how we might survive if we were shipwrecked. I'm in heaven now. Would we make it to an island? And what would we find there? Ooh, look at it. I feel like we're lost on Treasure Island. <laughs> We're back in the Prony this week on an island called Ilok Kazi. Our fresh provisions are running low, so after spotting coconuts, we're off on a foraging mission. The key to success in cruising is being resourceful, and if you've watched the rest of our series, you'll see why McDazzle holds the title of being the MacGyver of the Seas. What have you spotted? I've spotted pawpaws, as well as coconuts. We're in business. <laughs> what a great island. <laughs> He's completely mental for pawpaws and coconuts. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> Ooh, there's some weight in that one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Beauty, babe. He's full. I'm in heaven now. <laughs> Coconut heaven. Even though it was a rainy day, it felt as if we were replenishing our spirits walking through this lush green environment, with the smell of the damp undergrowth adding to that grounding feeling. This cemetery holds the graves of the Elric family, who moved here in the 1860s after the Sandalwood Mill closed down. You've got pandanus and pine trees and uh, bushlandy kind of undergrowth and then you've got this beautiful palm trees and coconut trees and yeah it's a really strange place but I just love it. It's just gorgeous. I'm really enjoying walking around here. What did you find my honey? More coconut trees. More coconut trees. I'm loving it. Oh, it's a great place. It's like Coconut Island. It sort of is. So on this island so far that we've found that's edible, we've found coconuts and pawpaws. We found some other tubers, but we're not sure what they are. But um, we're going to look them up, see if they're edible or not. That's great. Nature really does provide, right? Where they buried the treasure. 
We'd gotten kind of lost, but just as things were getting wild and woolly, we popped out into a lush garden area. So we're back in what appears to be a pawpaw garden or a fruit garden. And I think this was where an old resort was. But you can't see hide nor hair of it. It's just been completely taken over by the undergrowth. Nature really just returns everything back to nature, doesn't she? So pretty. Slippery as. Come on. Come on, bro. Ooh, look at it. <laughs> you have to catch it. Oh, <laughs> nice catch. How well done. Beautiful. <laughs> High five, honey. <laughs> Look at the smile on this man's dial. <laughs> Food worth getting. Oh, yeah. Bush Tucker man. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be much higher or I'd be starving. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Beauty. That'll ripen up pretty good. Beauty. Good job, my honey. Excellent. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you're going to go hunting pawpaws, any implement will do. <laughs> and uh, just be gentle with them and make sure you catch them. <laughs> Good on you, babe. Mighty effort. We hope you're enjoying the New Caledonia series. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any episodes. Please share on your social networks and consider supporting our work by becoming a patron of our channel where our biggest fans get real-time connection with us in our Salty Shipmate Club.